Like I, I, you have to because you can't become delusional. Do you understand? Explain. Sure. If they actually don't think I'm great, I'm in trouble because they're too close. Right. And that means I become a caricature of myself and I actually did read my headlines and I did believe in all those likes. And so in the same way that I don't hear, in the same way that, what are you gonna blow Gary? I don't hear, yeah. I also don't hear the comments of, you're Jesus, you're the best, you're walk on water. I don't hear them either. Because I can't value the outside that has no true context, right. you know, fluff and goodness and compliments if I'm willing to block out the negativity. I have to be empathetic. So, like I'll say one more time, their judgment of me not being a good person would be concerning. I think that there's practicality is, in that. There, that. there just isn't that case. Right. Nobody that knows me best thinks of me in any other way than admiration and respect. That's real. You know why? Because I value that more than money. Thus, the only thing that could have been a vulnerability to a natural nice person was valuing money over a person, mm -hmm. which then gave them the ability to judge me. So I think for the people listening, it's practical because they can audit their circle and in the way their circle is thinking about them can be a reflection of, wow, I might have to change some things. And, that's exactly right, and actually getting your circle to tell you the truth. Right. I wouldn't actually, if these, if Jason, Seth, Dustin, if I wouldn't actually judge what they think of me by asking them, they're not gonna tell me the truth. Right. I would judge it based on my own homework, which I spend plenty of time on, on what they're saying about me to other people. How's that your homework? I'm very conscious of what, you know, like within my inner circle, I watch what they do in life, who they've interacted with, like, and things happen, right? Like, I mean, actually, this is crazy. This happened a week ago. I was having a business meeting, two minutes. I was having a business meeting and somebody, uh, with a new guy, mm -hmm. business development meeting, mm -hmm. and he goes, gotta tell you a story. He goes, I was in uh, the city the other day and there was a group of three young men who, who were talking about you and I was listening carefully and they actually work for you. And the way they were talking about you and admiring you made me 10 times more excited for this meeting. That could have been a very different conversation for sure. if I was delusional. Right. Thank you.